Hello, welcome to Open the Gate. This week, for a very special final week, because it will be the end of our season, I'm very happy to invite Marie Destré. Hello, Mary. Hello, Roman. How are you? Good, thank you. Feeling very much. good and glamorous? Yes, always. I know that. Mary, um, who are you? Um, <laughs> my name is Marie Destré. I am half British, half French. I was raised um, in Europe um, and um, I've been living in Paris for the last 10 years. I started my career being um, doing a very uh, serious business school in Paris. Then I happened to become a um, model agent and I opened my own um, agency just for famous celebrities and actors, uh, only for commercials. So I represented very many famous people. Like Ariel Dombal or Beatrice Dahl? Ariel Dombal, Beatrice Dahl, uh, Joan Collins. Wow. Um, only for commercials. Okay. And then um, I decided to go through transition, so I stopped working and, uh, yeah, I went through transition. I become, became who I am now. I was very big, then I lost weight, and um, I got offered some parts um, in movies uh, after doing a lot of editorials and having an agent. Um, after being an agent, I had an agent. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did some editorials and then I got offered some parts in movies. Um, I shot in a movie called Wild Side with, by Sébastien Lifshitz. Then I shot this movie, uh, Les Mouvements du Bassin, uh, from HPG with Eric Cantona which was one of my biggest parts up to today. And um, I also starred in two documentaries, one from Frédéric Fontan called My Butterfly Dreams and one which is in, currently in production by Romain Leverne. So we will see what happens next. Wonderful. So we have a true actress in front of us. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> was this like a dream when you were before transition and taking care of all those people to become one day uh, an actress yourself? Never. Never. I never thought of that because um, I really enjoy dealing and uh, um, building some people's career as models and um, I never thought of it. And I was very surprised when one of my friends who was an agent offered me to do some editorials because I was very big. So I was more of a character than I am now. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, I did some editorial in some very famous magazine. I did some covers from an uh, Italian fashion trend. And um, that's when it started. Some people were interested in meeting me. So, But a lot of people acting are expecting a part. I never expected anything. Mm -hmm. I got always offered things when I never thought it would be for me. Yeah. So I've always been uh, very fortunate, very happy. Uh, about that. Can you realize that you can be a muse for some people, some artists, that you can really inspire them? Not really. I mean, I'm very flattered when it happens because it happened a uh, few times already, but I've never seen myself like that. So um, I'm always wondering, asking myself when I get offered something, a photo shoot or an editorial or a movie, I'm always thinking, why me? And uh, that's why I'm always relaxed on it, because mm -hmm. I always think it's such a luck that I have to give my best. Mm -hmm. So that's always exciting. But you've been creating yourself, like from A to Z, you change your whole uh, identity. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your inspiration? How did you want to, uh, I mean, who was your goal? Did you have like a picture in mind? or Never. never. You never can have someone in, because I'm me. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be someone else mm -hmm. and I don't want to go to a plastic surgeon with somebody else's picture because um, you will always be disappointed if you go with somebody's picture and ask a plastic surgeon to do it. And if some plastic surgeon do it, then they are crooks because it's, <laughs> it's, it would be crazy. Uh, no, 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 no. Every time I wanted to change something in me, it was just for myself, mm -hmm. to please myself. Um, that's why I guess all transsexuals are addicted to plastic surgery. <laughs> what was the most challenging uh, steps of your surgery? Uh, 
Oh, the most challenging step of my surgery was when I was really crazy to go um, for an eight hours um, anesthesia to change my face and get my breath done at the same time. Yeah. So eight hours later, I woke up with a different face and boobies. So it was <laughs> quite of a shock for me and for people around me. It was very big of a surprise. Then um, after this very special surgery, I decided to go slower and to um, go one step at a time. Mm. Good. So for many years, you've been quite chubby, let's say. I was um, very, very fat. I, <laughs> we was, are talking I, was, about I was huge because yeah. I was taking a lot of hormones and I'm very emotional. So hormones and emotions um, sometimes mix really terribly. So I gained a lot, lot, lot of weight through the years. And uh, three years ago, I decided that <clears throat> I had to stop uh, gaining all this weight. So um, I had a surgery called gastric bypass. Mm -hmm. And within two years, I lost 120 kilos. Whew. So um, now I'm, I'm the same, but in a different body. Yes. So it took me probably a year or two years to adjust to this new body. Because, of course, uh, when you lose all this weight, um, people have a different vision of yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, when you're not prepared to it, it's not always easy. So it's been such a... It's been a, a journey, yeah. And I'm trying now to to be balanced and happy. We saw you in the Les Mouvements du Bassin mm -hmm. with Eric Cantona. Uh, you are in this movie, a I was, chubby lady. Yeah, I was very big in a truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> doing your business. Yes. Um, you've been inspired. Um, I mean, the person that you've been. Uh, doing this movie with was inspired by your silhouette, this uh, chubby prostitute, I guess. Um, it's, it's an image that we have this generous lady with enormous tits and mm -hmm. this big face offering love and pleasure for one moment. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a Russ Mayer, yeah. Russ Mayer um, character or something. Yeah. I mean, isn't it hard to, uh, to leave this character and this body to change all your identity by being a very tall, slim, glamorous lady. Uh, I mean, all the men that you've been uh, with because they were really excited about your generous curves and, mm. and lines. Y you were not scared to, to, to change all this? Uh... Well, you know, it was... <clears throat> this surgery was not like another plastic surgery move. No. It was... Um, if I didn't do that surgery, I would have been dead by now because I was so fat mm. that I would have died by mm. a heart attack. So. Um, I didn't really have any options um, but do it. Um, so I didn't really think of other people around me. I, I just thought of myself and my health. And uh, that's why I... I guess some people liked me better when I was fat and some other people will like me better when I'm how I am now. Uh, being an actress, I think it's good to be able to renew mm -hmm. and go do different characters that I wouldn't have done when I was bigger. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's a blessing. And anyway, I have to see it as a blessing because I cannot go back being big. It's finished. So I have to enjoy myself the way I am now because I won't be able to go, fuck, to go back <laughs> fat again. Yes. So that's finished. Okay. So um, that's like a part of your life. And then you turn the page and you start a new chapter of your life. Okay. Well, indeed, you changed a lot. <laughs> I love you now. <laughs> and before? And before also, but you're really pretty now, and at least you can wear couture. <laughs> Mary, I feel that you're very open to any kind of project. I see you with uh, a lot of uh, young photographer or, or a movie maker that are really uh, interested and curious to work with you. It's something that you really want to keep on and, uh, and feel like welcome to? Oh, yeah, I'm very curious. Um, you like new challenges? I like a new challenge, I like to meet new people, and I like to discover different universes which are not mine. So um, I love to work with new people who have different ideas and who see me different ways um, than I am. So um, I work with some new photographers that wanted to take pictures of me with no makeup, uh, that wanted to take pictures of me in different situations, and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy every time because 
it's a different world every time. So um, okay, it's wonderful. quite exciting. So if anybody wants to shoot with me, available. I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You're a real girl. You love fashion. I see you have a full collection of Hervé Léger dresses in any colors and many oh, sizes, I guess. In, <laughs> even in nuance now. <laughs> Not only colors, nuance. Different nuance of rose, nuance of pink, of beige. Yeah, yeah, of course. I love. Well, when I was fat, I couldn't wear many um, designers. Mm -hmm. So now that I can wear all the designers, I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Yeah. Fashion Muse, we see you at all the best parties of Paris with your fur and your amazing leopard printed dress. Well, I love fur. <laughs> and I used to love leopard prints, but now it's 2014 and it's finished with the leopard. Next. Leopard, c'est fini. <laughs> Let's try Let's to find new colors. Let's move on to some new nuances of uh, yeah. apricot and pink. I'll leave the leopard to the others. <laughs> okay, they can take it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But I'll keep the furs. <laughs> Thank you, Mary, for being uh, with us today. Thank you, Homa. And uh, I wish you all the best, and I'm sure your new project will be amazing. I, I know you don't tell uh, well, all that you should tell, and there, there's many surprises coming for the future. There's some and, new things uh, coming. Let's keep it secret for the moment, and I hope we will be one of the first to discover it. Of course. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much for inviting me today. Our pleasure. Thank you, Mary. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Open the Gate. It was our last episode of our first season. I see you in February for many other surprises, and I hope you will be following us again, again, and again. Take care, and see you very soon.